Hello, this is Nico from Charlie's Electric Bike out of Encinitas, California. And today we have Kelly Hinsey with us. She is the deputy mayor for Encinitas. We are at Cabda West. It's in Del Mar, California. And all the bike stuff, anything that happens bicycle, is happening here in this hall at the Del Mar Fairgrounds. And Kelly has cool stuff to talk about bikes. She's a cycling advocate. Yeah, that's true, I am. And we're still on cloud nine after our inaugural Siglavia event, which um, took place in downtown Encinitas this last Sunday. And it was the first time that we'd ever done it. And I think we had crowds between 3,000 and 5,000 people there throughout the day. And it means that we have something really good going on in Encinitas, where bikes get to be in our public space and where people can experience their historic Highway 101 corridor, which is our equivalent of our town square, being there free without the threat of um, car accidents or getting hurt. And everybody could take to the streets on foot or by bike or whatever else rolls. My family's lived in Encinitas for three generations. My dad's a classic car enthusiast. I took a different direction and I became very passionate and excited about biking. Now I get to come to Charlie's Electric Bike as a customer for all things bike. That shift in the business model of what was formerly a gas station along Highway 101 when it was built in the 1920s just to convey cars through Encinitas is really representative of a shift that we're seeing in our streets where people want to be able to get around safely outside of their car. We know we have to take action to limit our carbon emissions. We know people want to come here to enjoy our beaches, to be just close to the beach. What we see in Encinitas is that the ocean comes right up to the cliffs and there's no space to recreate on the beach. So our highway has to serve a purpose now more so than ever, that it is safe and friendly, comfortable and welcoming. And um, seeing our highway in some ways is a gathering space as a destination in and of itself. Could you get an entire family down to the beach with this whole entire vehicle? You totally could. This is how I see Encinitas happening, like stuff like cool stuff like this. We're already seeing um, so many parents choosing to buy the cargo bikes. So they're either becoming one car families that have a cargo bike and that's how they drop their kids off at school, go to the park, visit the beaches. Another thing that I'm noticing is that the foldable bikes are a really good complement to using transit. It's very difficult sometimes to have your bike and put it on a bus or put it on the trolley. But when you have a foldable bike, you don't have to count on that rack and you don't have to count on that space being available to you at the time the bus shows up. Uh, at this show they've got fat tire bikes over here, Tasco mountain bike, they're out of Carlsbad. We have an international brand, Bosch. Uh, Bosch is huge in the electric bicycle mobility. And then also one of our favorite brands that we sell at Charlie's Electric Bike is the Magnum brand. We're having a very awesome time here in Del Mar, checking out the whole bike scene. Yeah, it's so cool that this uh, event is taking place right here in Del Mar. It means there must be some uh, momentum here in California and specifically San Diego behind bikes. I definitely think there's some momentum. If you've been watching Encinitas in the last three or four years, I've been seeing more and more and more e-bikes every single day, more people riding every single day. So that's part of the reason why we started the business and launched it and it's just a cool cool thing. I'm so grateful that you invited me here today so I can see part of what's changing and what's innovating and what to expect in the years going forward. <laughs>